What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kai Gibson, a.k.a. Rick Six. And y'all already know what time it is. We got another banger to be able to drop on YouTube. So we give it something that we usually don't be able to give on this YouTube channel today. And that is exactly how to be able to take the personal bills out of your name completely. And when I say this, if anybody inside of the video has ever heard the rich own nothing, but yet they're able to control everything, this is simply by not being able to place anything underneath their social security number, right? And I'm gonna go a little bit more in detail with this so we can get an understanding and then go on to how we get the personal bills removed out of our name. All right, but if you have not yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. That way you'll be able to see your boy face every single time I make a video, all right? It's for y'all. So let's go ahead and get started. When you were born inside the world, each and every single one of us had a social security number that was attached to us. So if you are in possession right now of a social security card, this is what we consider as your person, right? This is what identifies you and you go out to be able to take it to use to get the credit cards, the house, the cars, a lot of different things, under whatever you want underneath your name. But see, the people that are truly informed inside of the world, they understand with business. Like if I go out and file the LLC, inside of the fine print of the LLC, it tells me that it is considered as its own individual, which means it's also a person. Don't be fooled. If I'm informed enough, I know how to be able to take this person and utilize it exactly the same way I would use my social security number. So when I go out and I file an LLC, a EIN number is generated. This stands for Employee Identification Number. Keywords, identification number. If I'm informed enough to be able to take this EIN number and use it in the exact same way I would use my social, if I'm about to really go out and get the car, instead of putting my SSN number attached to it, I learn how to be able to put my EIN to where I still have the car, but it's not inside of my name. So when you look up on side of paper, Kai Gibson does not own anything, but yet I'm able to be able to control it, right? So now that we got the understanding that both of these are a person, its own identification, our social when we go out to use it, and also this EIN number when we go out to use it, all right? Let's go on and go on to how we actually remove the personal bills out of our name because a lot of people think that my first step should be actually going out to be able to seek for funding for my business. How do I set it up right? And all those good things when it comes to getting a business funded, right? But they miss out on the first step they should actually take and that's removing the personal bills out of their name, right? A lot of people usually have the cable bill, the light bill, the Wi-Fi bill, the phone bill, the light bill inside of their personal name. And I'm gonna tell you the bad thing that happens with this, right? When I go out to be able to test the light bill, the cable bill, the phone bill, inside of my personal name, what happens when I'm no longer able to pay this anymore? That's why we have a lot of people with bad personal credit because they put things underneath their name and they're not able to pay it back off, right? But what happens when we change that situation around to where it's not in our name automatically? The lights are not in my name. The cable bill is not in my name. The Wi-Fi, the phone is not in my name. So that means when I'm able to, when I'm not able to pay these things off, at least I don't have to worry about it hitting my personal collections because it's not attached to that identification. It's attached to a completely different one. All right. So let's go over. It, okay. The best move for me to be able to make to get these things out underneath, uh, underneath my name. These are going to only be for bills, not for funding, uh, not for funding aspects not to be able to go out and seek for anything for your business besides placing the bills underneath their name, okay? So best move I can be able to make is actually go out and file an LLC underneath my personal name. Think about this. The most important thing your social security number is attached to is your name. When I pull your social, your name pops up with all of the information attached to your name. He owns the house, he owns the car, he owns this many phones. Everything is attached to that name. But when I go over and I take my name and attach it to a company, which is a different individual, I've now been able to take that name and generate an EIN number that is connected to my name. 
The name of the company is Kai Gibson. Now, the best thing I can do inside of 2024 is to automatically make sure I remove those personal bills out of my name and go out and take that EIN number that I have got with my company inside of my name and go out and place it on those applications for the light bill, cable bill, phone bill. Many of people will be like, hey, listen, how is that even possible? I told you at the beginning that both of them are considered as its own individual. Just like when we look at the social number, right? The social security number is nine digits. This is considered as an individual. This is your individual number, all right? The EIN number is also a nine digit number, which is also an individual, right? When we learn how to be able to actually truly take, go out and we're informed enough to take this individual, the EIN number and use it like the social, you're gonna become a problem inside of 2024 because the whole goal should be able to go out and get other people's money that is not inside of your name, right? This is when the best benefits come because a lot of people like to really go out and use their personal to be able to uh, uh, get the house, the car, and maybe a loan inside of their name. And when they're not able to pay it off, it ain't no bankruptcy for them, right? If it is, you got seven years for bankruptcy instead of actually filing on a company where uh, most of the wealthy actually do, right? If a business plan does not turn out right and it's fully invested into, they file bankruptcy, right? But it's not on their personal name. So it's not attached to me at all. I'm constantly running, right? Something might hit me, but guess what? I can keep on running. When I'm when I'm on my personal side and I got all these different things on there and I decide to file bankruptcy, oh shit, that set me back for a good little minute. I'm moving in motion, but I ain't going nowhere. That's the thick it is, all right? If you're inside the video and you're saying, hey, listen, Rich, I need somebody for mentorship, right? I want to be able to take my business to the next level and really receive those maximum amounts, all right? Newly launched is going to be the 100K Crash Course, aka Rich Secrets University, where it takes the average person from scratch, a person that has not yet even filed their LLC yet and shows you all the steps within the next 30 to 60 days, exactly how to be able to pull out over 50 to 100K. That will be inside the link inside of the description and also inside of the comment section for you guys if you are wanting mentorship from your boy. All right? Until next time, you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Kai Gibson, a.k.a. Rick Six. And we out, YouTube.